hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to create a simple login form using and design components also we will see how to add a gloss morphism effect to the login pop-up and we'll see how we can add the validation rules on the login form and once user has entered the values inside the email and the password then we will mimic the behavior like saying on press of the login we say login successful and similarly we will mimic the behavior by login via social icons like google facebook and twitter to see how to implement all of this let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and add some components and add gloss morphism effect on those so let's start from a simple div component and give it a class name maybe we can say this is a app bg and let's copy this one and go to the app css i have imported it here and give it some styling so so we can say it's displays flex and justify content center and also the align items to be center and give it a width of 100 vw the full width of the viewport and similarly give it a height of 100 vh and we can give it a background and that will be a url and i have added uh, two background images one is this one and second one is the image 2.png i have grabbed these from uh, desktop screenshots so one is this one and second one is this one so you can take your own desktop screenshot and and add those images here so let's start from the image.png one so we can say it will be under the images and the image.png and if i save it here you go and we can add a background size and we can say it is a cover so here you go so this is how it will look like right so let's add a login form in the center of the screen so here we can say a form component from end design and and inside that we can add the form dot item and it will be an input from end design and here we can say a placeholder enter your email and here for the form item we can label it email and give it a name of we can say my email and let's copy this one and add another one we can say password and here we can say this is my password and we can say enter your password right if i save it here you go it has added uh, two fields email and the password so let's give a class name to this one as well uh, we can say login form so let's copy this one and go to the css and add some styling to this as well we can say background colors and it could be rgb 255 255 255 and let's add an a as well and make it 0.33 percent transparent here you go let's give it a box shadow as well we can say 0 pixels and 8 pixels 32 pixels and 0 then give it a color of 0 0 and maybe 255 for the blue uh, sorry 255 and give it alpha same as 0 0.33 if i save it here you go it has added a little box shadow and let's give it a gloss morphism effect for that we can say backdrop filter and make it a blur of let's add a one pixel here you go it has added a one pixel blur effect or the gloss morphism effect so let's increase this maybe two pixels here you go uh three looks good right so let's add other uh, items in the login form so and let's add a we can say well welcome back on the top we can say typography dot title and here we can say welcome back 
save it here you go let's add a little padding uh, as well in the css we can say the padding on the top is zero pixels and on the other sides maybe we can say 16 pixels 16 pixel and 16 pixels and let's add a border radius as well we can say border radius is again 16 pixels okay looks good so now let's add uh, the login button here we can see the button from the end design and here we can see the login and give it a type of primary and with the html type of submit here you go and let's make this block so it covers the whole width okay and after that we can add a divider where we can say all login with some social icons so here we can say a divider that is again from the end design and here we can say our login with here you go so it has this line is not looking very nice we can give it a style we can say the border color is black okay that's good now right so here we can add uh, some icons so let's add those inside a div and first i can maybe we can add a google outlined and then we can say facebook field and then maybe we can say twitter outlined here you go okay this one and let's add a class name to here as well we can say social login copy this one and go to the css and here we can say its display is flex and justify content in the center and if i save it here you go and give it a gap of maybe we can say 24 pixels okay so let's make the color to be white okay that's good and maybe we can add a font size to be maybe 24 pixels okay that's good and on hover we can make the cursor to appear as a pointer so let's add a class name to these as well so we can say social icon and copy this one this paste it on other icons as well so copy this name and add it here we can say the cursor is pointer save it now if i hover on it it says looks like these are the buttons and you can click on this as well right so here we can add the on click functions and maybe we can say on click go to the login and let's copy this one and we can say const login is equal to a function and here maybe we can say message dot success and we can say login successful right let's add down click on uh, all of these copy paste here and if i click any of these it says login successful and we can change the color of these icons as well so maybe we can make the facebook color as the blue we can say give it a style and we can say color is blue save it here you go and for the twitter one we can again give it a style let's copy this one and add it here as well we can say the color is this cyan and for the google uh, maybe we can say it's a red color here you go and on click of this we are saying login successful and here on click of this login uh, we can add some validation on the form and then we can once we have entered the valid email and then, then password we can say this is also successful right so 
on the form we can say on finish it will again be calling uh, the login the same function right and uh, let's add uh, some validation rules on the email and the password and here we can say rules and that will be an array of object and here we'll be saying that it's required and sorry required true and we can say its type should be an email and if this does not follow then we can say give it a message that please enter valid email right so if user has not entered it or its type is not email then it will say that please enter a valid email and let's add a similar rule on the password as well so here we can say it's required but its type is not email and here we can say please enter a valid here we can say please enter your password only right save it there you go and instead of this input we can say that input the dot password so that it looks like a password field so you can enter it show the dot dot right so if i do not enter anything it says please enter a valid email address here and please enter your password here and if i enter something it's still saying that enter a valid email address and if i say at gmail.com oh it's fine right and we can enter a password here and once uh, we added we have added uh, both email and the password then press on the login it says login successful right and if i click the login without entering the email or without entering the password it won't be showing that login was successful right so it will only uh, say the login successful once these two fields are filled properly right so we can say email at gmail.com and password one two three four five right login says login successful right so here we are only mimicking the behavior for the login successful actually we will be making the api call on pressing the login button or making the api call here as well right so this is how we can create a login form or the sign up form and add a gloss morphism effect on the form ui and we can change uh, the background color to see how it looked like when we change the background to the image too if i save it here you go so this is how it looks like on the other background color right if you make it full screen here you go and same if i full screen for the image dot png this is how it looks like there right and if i show that on the mobile version here you go and let's make this to this way this so it will look like on the ipad if we go to the the phone so it's fully responsive right here you go and pixel 5 and then on the ipad mini right and back to the desktop right so this is how we can create a simple login form using the end design component and add some background images and add gloss morphism effect on the pop-up but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you